because security authorities are acting in enforcement of the public health emergency measures rounded of youth in Banjul for allegedly de defying social distancing. This just ended emergency measures prohibit uh, the use of football grounds with a view to control the spread of the virus. Here is more details of that. Police Intervention Unit and General Duty Officers have secured the arrest of 52 young people from Banjul for allegedly defying orders to avoid crowd on football grounds. The power to hold such gatherings subject to legal measures came as a result of the just-ended state of public emergency as part of measures to suppress the spread of the coronavirus. A team from Carnifing, comprised of police intervention unit officers, the general duty and other security services, raided people in Banjul and arrested 52 people after receiving intelligence that some youth in Banjul usually play night football games. On the recommendations of the Ministry of Health, several checkpoints have been mounted along the tourism development areas with a view to enforce social distancing as a matter of public health regulation. In another development, the Mansokonko Regional Task Force in the Lower River Region has border crossing matters on its table. Mansokonko also, the Regional Task Force, intercepted two motorists who were riding with unregistered motorcycles. They are believed to be Senegalese and they both absconded, leaving their motorcycles behind. The Health Ministry announced on Monday that the Gambia government will enforce the deportation of non-Gambians found guilty of illegal entry to the country to prevent a further importation of the coronavirus. As of this week, Gambia has confirmed 24 positive cases of the virus since March, 10 of whom are currently receiving treatment. Currently, 69 people are undergoing quarantine. Neighboring Senegal had recorded more than 2,000 cases of the virus, despite which the country has eased restrictions for the pandemic. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Absege. Security officers enforcing COVID-19 regulations in the Gambia.